Hi friends, welcome to get another tutorial of easy video series. In this video you are going to see how to place the images side by side in LaTeX. In the previous two videos we just saw the images to be inserted one below the other. In this basically we will see how to place images side by side. Okay. Okay, so as always, document class is article. You begin the document, there is an end document here. Anything between this gets compiled in LaTeX. I am using Text Studio also. The source code will be available in the description of the video. You may download the source code or copy paste the source code from there. Okay, so I have some random text here, again a random text here, and I am using the H to make the images appear between here. So now, if you just see the output of this image. Okay, so forget everything, every command. Uh, you may be familiar with begin figure, end figure. Forget about this many page stuff. I will explain you in this video what it is. So include graphics, include graphics. Okay, so I have two include graphics. One is the black image and one is the red image. Okay, the caption is black image and red image. I'm specifying the width, okay, in order to... Uh, scale the image to the width of the text size okay now just see this what happens the output here is i have a black image and i have a red image both arranged side by side okay so under normal circumstances latex will actually place the images one below the other okay so maybe let me just show you the example for it So I am showing the image of black and yellow. Okay. So begin figure and this. Let me just see this. So you can see for this code black and yellow. LaTeX is keeping them one below the other and not on the sides. Okay. So just erase the code. Recompile it. And you can see the output. You have two images side by side. So in this basically you just remember to you need to remember this command begin mini page. So the concept of mini page is like when you are writing the document you are using the original page to write basically anything that you write. See this is a complete page on which you write. Okay and LaTeX is placing the images one below the other. So what we try to do is try to tell LaTeX that you create a mini page so from the word mini page you feel it's a page within a page a small page within a page okay so this mini page basically has a width of 0.48 now I will tell you why I have kept it 0.48 see when you want to insert two images so the calculations that you make is a page is assumed to be of 100% width 100% width by 2 is equal to 50 okay so since you are placing two images, so let me first keep this to 0 0.50, that is 50% and just check the output. So if you see it comes one below the other, okay. The reason is when you place two images exactly with the 50% bit, there is no separation of the two images, there is very little gap. So let us try and error it 0 0.49 0 0.49 let us try it again see so just 0 0.1 that is need to be reduced from the scaling so you can get two images side by side so what we do we do a mini page of 50% width and a mini page of 50% width and just reduce 0 0.1 from it okay so what happens here is you have an inserted image which is this is a page, full page, and so the left hand side of the image basically says that we have a page of 50% width. So basically, this is the first mini page that we are writing in the code. And within that mini page, I am telling it to use 100% of that mini page. So this is 50% of the page, and within that, the 100% of the image. Uh, I know it's a bit confusing, but you just write the code, copy paste, and you will understand it very nicely. Okay, second, again, same mini page code. And then we keep it 49% and within that 100% red.png image. Okay. 
So now let's say you want to keep three images side by side. So what we will do? Percent 100 divided by 3, which is basically equal to 33.33. 33. So which is equal to 0.33 and we reduce it by 0.1. So make it 0.32. So what we do? We just copy this code and make this 32, 32, 32. So we have three images. So now keep this as yellow. Yellow image. Okay. Now let us compile this. So now you see you have four, three images in side by side. The code for this will be available in the video description. So need not worry about it. Okay, need not, need not worry about it. Just LaTeX is such fun. Basically, you have a code, you just you reuse it, reuse it, reuse it. You need not think too much into the code because these are all default syntaxes. You cannot change them. You cannot have a keyword. So now if I want to insert four images, so we will have 100% divided by 4 is equal to 0.25. It's 25%, make it 0.25, reduce it by 0.1, make it 24. So I have four images here. Make it 24, 24, 24, 24. I think I have an orange image also. Okay. So you there it is. Figure 1, figure 2, figure 3, figure 4. Okay. So that's how easy it is to insert side by side figures into LaTeX. Okay. So if I so if it is 5 images, then 100 by 5 makes it 20, make it 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.19, 0 0.19, 0 0.19, 0 0.19 into 5. So in this way, you can insert the images side by side in LaTeX very easily. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Please do subscribe.